I beat every boss in the King's Leap without dashing. This is a pretty hard challenge, so any support, liking, subscribing, or just even watching the video fully is greatly appreciated. But let's get on with it. The first thing that you might notice is that I'm using Mugman, or you can also basically have it as Cuphead. But the main thing is just that it's not Miss Chalice. And the reason for that is that her dashes are parry. So if you can't dash, you can't parry. And you kind of need the parries to beat the King's Leap. So this is basically a double challenge, as I have already beaten the King's Leap without Miss Chalice in the past, but this time I'm basically adding something onto it by beating it without dashing. Now we beat the bonds up pretty easily because they are really the easiest boss, in this is my opinion. Now here it's just a lot of waiting and making sure that you use high jumps. Yes, high jumps are a thing. If you hold the jump button, it goes higher than just pressing it. I make sure to stay on the left side of him just because I find it easier than trying to go over him when he does his dashing move here, and I just continue parrying there. Now, the cycle basically goes until I get enough parries to finish him off, and I always just get two berries there, and I basically just go for some parries here just to, like, get extra because I have enough to damage tank with. But I'm always keeping one just so I don't die if I do get hit. And here, I just get three more, and he's almost done here, but just keeps going for those, and I just go for a parry anyways, and get the knockout on the second boss. Now, we're on the bishop. For some reason, when I first played the King Sleep, this boss took me so long. I'm not used to it now, and it isn't as bad, mainly because probably when I first did it, I didn't fully ever use Miss Chalice's invincibility roll, which makes it a lot easier. Now here it's still pretty easy, you can just go around. I am on 1 HP already, but I just have expert dodging skills without dashing, so I'm fine. And so basically we just get some nice jumps with some short hops. And it's just that one candle of time that I had to go all the way across just to get without dashing, which does annoyingly take a while. Now on the last part of it here, we're trying to make sure that I do not die, and we're good. And I get the bishop knockout. Now we are on my favorite boss in the King's Leap, mainly because I'm pretty good at speedrunning this. So you can look at my book speedrunning videos if you want to see how fast I can do it in, but I'm pretty used to it, so I know it. it is a little hard without dashing in or using this chalice, but it's mainly pretty good, and just make sure you don't get hit by the skulls, make sure you know the hitboxes of the rook, and you just gotta keep going. So I basically just trying to juggle as many as I can, but mainly just juggling one at a time, because it makes it slightly easier. Sometimes I can juggle two like here, and that's what often leads me to get to knockout. And now we are on the final boss, the queen. Now I'm going to start off with a just parry hit. I also really was bad at this one, just because I was really bad at aiming at cancer to start. I've definitely gotten better now, and this was honestly my probably best run ever with the cannons like literally i this is like the best thing i've ever done with the cannons like i usually miss so much but here i didn't miss that as much as i usually do even actually not even missing a single shot but anyways thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one let's go